All right, Saturday afternoon, we are on a gallery tour, RT and I, out in Tribeca, Soho-ish area in Lower East Side. Well, first stop we're gonna make is Andrew Kreps Gallery. They moved to this location within the last like six months and have had a handful of exhibitions since then. And looking forward to this one right now. So besides these being very, very well rendered, they are on repurposed cardboard, layered up, stacked on top of each other with what looks to be some kind of like modeling gel or some kind of gel medium. And I can only assume those came from uh, used materials. And so this aspect of sustainability carries through the whole exhibition into the painting piece as well. Which, why are we using a uh, brand new canvas and uh, stretcher bars when we're getting Amazon boxes daily? So, you know, we can get behind that. It's cool, it's cool. Gotta be careful here. It's a stampede. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Good job, y'all. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> New York City is a dangerous place. Uh, if it's not cars or bicyclists, it's runners. And uh, you should always be a little bit careful. There's even fast walkers out here. So, <laughs> you never know.
Joseph. Hello. Oh. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you all? I'm good. I don't care. <laughs> The glass shards on these pieces are pulled from El Paso, where um, glass debris is found on the ground, and people, uh, they've collected these and woven them into these very chic garments for wear. I assume you could wear these, um, but they're modeled as if they're just New York fashion chic. But yeah, the glass and the little shards that you find in here are just have an ornamentation to them and a delicacy with this gold wrap that weaves them into the black fabric and it becomes something much more, much more diamond-like than glass shard. So this juxtaposition of violence and crime versus fashion and high art, it comes into this high-low conversation that contemporary art does so well. Ooh. I really enjoy when contemporary art takes a subject of diversity and social justice or something much more political and can make it into something aesthetically sharp for the mind to, to sit on. So the materials on this wall here are made from terracotta and clay from that region of that border uh, conflict zone near El Paso, Ciudad Juarez. Um, and it's, the whole exhibition kind of illustrates the violence around those communities. And I feel like a strong connection as if this were my home. This feels like it has a tinge of very personal aspect to it, where this could be anyone's community. It doesn't have to be just, you know, this, this area of Texas and Mexico. It could be any area of California or New York or states across the country and across the world who are dealing with violence. And so each of these pieces represents a fallen victim to uh, gun violence and tragedy in those areas of conflict and it's meant to illustrate and highlight the, the volume of people lost. And then the benches themselves are made from a mixture of concrete and materials from the ground from which people have been found slain. So uh, even the concrete benches have some aspect of personhood to them and, and spot location of conflict. It's a very, very thoughtful piece. It's deceivingly simple. So it looks like it's, it's not about much, but that's the best part about this is the context for this matters. It's what the whole thing hinges on is this aspect of personhood and personability and location and neighborhood and community and a smooth, simple square stone patterned over a wall can look very aesthetically pleasing, but when we apply individualism and personhood to each stone, it becomes something much heavier than the sum of its parts, you know?
The red backing on this of these stickers, so sweet. Simply sweet, but makes a huge swing. It's like, it's such a simple move. Oh, I'm jealous I didn't think of it. 